All right, so we've got to see how spring shapes up here ahead, but uh, at least that last time we had that really, really strong El Nino, the fire season was not as bad uh, as it typically is heading into the summer. We need more of this, though. We need more snow. We have some out there over the big belts, up over about uh, Yorkish, 39 degrees in Helena. Great Falls, how about that? It's a little light out there. Reduced visibility with some snow off in the distance, 34. It's 30 in Cup Bank, 34, Haver and Glasgow. Not a cold day. Temperatures were close to average. Wind, yeah, that makes it a little colder. North wind, 20 miles per hour up in Cup Bank. Mainly a north wind tomorrow. Not very strong, 5, 10, maybe 15 miles per hour here. Same goes for Wednesday. A little of a north to northeast wind, a little upslope wind. And we've got winter weather advisory. Fergus County out through Lewis and Clark County up the Rocky Mountain front. It's the avalanche watch for the higher terrain up around the flathead there. But there you can see the snow amounts. Not a ton of snow. This winter weather advisory going until 5 a.m. on Wednesday. And the Helena Valley is not included in that winter weather advisory, although I think we'll have a little snow, maybe a little coating. But uh, out there over the big, the little belts and the big belts, and then also up on the Rocky Mountain front, there may be a few spots that pick up about a foot of snow. Had a little snow here and there at times today. Helena again, snow maybe out closer to Canyon Ferry and the big belts. Great Falls seeing that snow coming close. If it's not snowing where you are right now, it will be here soon. Some snow up on the Rocky Mountain front, snowy day around Lincoln and west of the Divide. A little snow around Cup Bank and Shelby, Hart Butte, getting ready for Valentine's Day in Hart Butte. A little snow out there around Big Sandy, pushing into uh, right near Rocky Boy, Geraldine, a little burst of rain and snow. That's been snowing, at least in the uh, big snowy mountain south of Lewistown here. A little snow up around Opime and at times around Glasgow today. That right there is going to become a big snowstorm for the northeast here tonight and tomorrow. So later this evening, watch how that snow kind of fills in along the Rocky Mountain front out across the north central parts of the state. Have a little snow around Helena and Great Falls and Lewistown through the overnight hours into early tomorrow morning. And then that wave of snow kind of moves out, but behind that, another round of snow. It's mainly in northern Montana through the afternoon, but a little later on, late afternoon, evening, we'll see some of that snow come close to Helena and Lewistown, some snow as we head into Tuesday night and then Wednesday morning. Wednesday, a mostly cloudy day and a couple areas of some light snow. A few flurries, that's about it. Looks like some good sunshine. Have her out through Glasgow on Wednesday and then more snow comes in Thursday. So as we go through tomorrow, there you can see the accumulation from about right now all the way to 26 hours or so from now. A little more snow as we go through Tuesday night into Wednesday. And then watch as we go into Thursday, a little more accumulation. Not so much up on the high line, but central, western, southern Montana. That's where the heaviest accumulation will be. Here's the forecast for tonight. So areas of snow, light accumulation, a little snow around Big Sandy, a little flurry or two up in northeast Montana, Lewistown, Nyhart, Stanford, probably a light accumulation of a coating up to an inch by tomorrow morning, and same goes for the Helena area. Tuesday, 20s up north, 30s, even a 40 or so around Helena. We'll have a little sunshine through the morning before that snow moves in. Lew uh, Lewistown and Great Falls should have a snowy day. Wednesday, Valentine's Day, a little colder, cloudier, light flurries around Helena, Great Falls, Lewistown, and up on the Continental Divide. Thursday, that's a bit more in the way of some snow. Again, it's more the southern part of the state. And then Friday, high pressure moves in. We'll clear things out, and we'll start to warm up just a little bit as we go through President's Day weekend, especially in Great Falls.